Now a two-time Super Bowl champion in the house, Von Miller and MJD with the flashy lid. That's First of all, you're, you're a style guy, Von. What do we think of his fit up here? Here, grab, grab that mic. I like it, man. What does it say on the inside? I, I don't know. I just got it before it say, I came forget, down here. I think, let me see it. It say, it say, forget them pinks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, uh, Leslie, Tony, all the guys that brought us here, man. Um, this is for DT, my son, Val, Trevor Mowat. All of my teammates here, Aaron Donald, Andrew Whitworth, you know, all of these guys are deserving, man. It, it feels good. Uh, whenever you're playing for something bigger than yourself, man, it really brings out the most in you. I feel like the defense had to step up a ton when Odell went down. What was it like on the sidelines? What were you guys communicating? And then to get seven sacks in the Super Bowl, man, what was that like? Man, it was emotional, man. DT is up. Uh, I mean, uh, Odell is, is my guy, man. And to see him go down like that, man, you're playing for some more. You got more motivation. You're taking one play at a time, and it feels good to come back and get the win. You knew that the Bengals were going to have a plan to try to block you guys. Yeah. They'd struggled a lot during the playoffs with pass protection. You guys didn't get off to a fast start, but then all of a sudden it's like the floodgates opened up and you guys were able to continually pressure Burrow and then get the play at the end to seal the victory. Man, what Burrow, was the difference? Joe Burrow's the truth. Um, Jamar Chase and T, and T Higgins, you know, all of those guys played well. We knew they were going to have a plan. Joe Burrow's throwing the ball extra quick. I think it was a, a, a second. 1.8 seconds, man. He was going crazy, man. All right, look at this. Hey, hey, you want to sit down? You sure? I'm man. I'm just happy. Congrats, man. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, there you go. Grab your mic. Uh, let's start right at the very end. Fourth down for the Bengals. They're going on the drive. Take us through the entire play there as you chase down Joe. I'm talking about the fourth down play? Yes. Um, got the chop club, got the edge, got a way to get to him. I thought he, I, th I tried to get the ball. He kind of spun around. I tried to throw him down. When he tossed it up, I thought he completed it, but he didn't. So um, just found the way to make a play, man, and, and, and found a way to close the game. Um, that's what we wanted. I think that's what the defense wanted. You know, we, we scored the touchdown, got the lead, and, and we know we're going to be able to close it out. So it felt good. All right, we saw you pointing toward your ring finger. We saw you do that as well during the NFC Championship game when you forced Jimmy Garoppolo into the turnover as well. Now that you are getting that ring on your finger, I mean, look at your smile, man. What's going through that head of yours? Oh, man, it's, it's a blessing, man. I, I dreamed it so long. I felt like, you know, we worked so hard for this. Um, to see it come full circle, have an opportunity, you know, to call myself a world champion, call ourselves world champions, man. Football um, it's football heaven. Vaughn been saying that, man. And, I finally get to feel it, man. Guys been telling me how I feel, the experience, man. To, to actually be here living it. Oh, man, it's a real. It's a real. By the way, real quickly, just introduce who we got here. This is my son, AJ. This is my daughter, Jada. This is my wife, Erica. And this is my youngest, Eric. I love it with the headphones. Good. <laughs> nice. Early on in the game, the Bengals were doing a nice job sliding the center over, being aggressive with the guard, trying to stop you before you got started. And you guys started sending the linebacker, trying to occupy that center. <laughs> How do you make sure that you don't let yourself get frustrated when you're getting so much attention early on in the game? Well, I've been getting that all year. I've been getting that most of my career. So you know what to expect. You just got to keep playing, and the opportunities are going to come. Um, and, and, and again, I know, I know we got Vaughn Miller, we got Flo, we got Greg Gaines out there. Them guys are going to make plays too. So, um, you know, I'm just confident the guys we got around that, you know, I just keep playing. Everybody going to keep playing. We're going to make the plays eventually. So, well, Vaughn, you won a Super Bowl. What did you, when you got traded to the Rams, what was the talk when you got here? Were you kind of trying to teach guys what it was like, how to how to play throughout the playoffs? I mean, you you guys made it to a Super Bowl, right? And it was a tough yeah. loss. Divas played well. But what was it like for you coming in and helping out? Man, if, if I don't know nothing about football, I know pass rush. I had a relationship. <laughs> I had a relationship with AD before I got here. He came to the pass rush summit. And when I got here, it was plug and play. I, I did a walkthrough. My ankle was still hurt when I got through. We was laughing and smiling. We ran a little text game. Just look, we walked through it. I was like, hey, this is going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Ran it with flow. I was like, this going to work. We played in that San Francisco 49ers game. Sacks didn't come, but I had fun, and we still had great games. Right. It was just plug and play, man. The culture here with all of these guys, man, it's just a blessing to be here, man. I, I felt that from when we got here, we had a special team. We just had to bring it to life, and it feels good to do it. Aaron, I don't know if you're much of a social media guy these days, but back in 2016, you did put this tweet out. They say defense wins championships. Hashtag Super Bowl. Do you remember typing that one out? Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're there, how does it feel? It feels amazing. You know, football heaven, right? Football heaven, it's baby. It's football heaven, man. So uh, I'm, I'm just so in the moment right now, man. I, I'm enjoying this, man. It's like it's hard to put in the words right now, man. But um, I'm just going to enjoy this. Enjoy this with my teammates, enjoy this with my family, man. And um, 
I'm outside tonight, man. Ooh. <laughs> oh, outside. I'm outside tonight. Oh, outside. I like that. Well, I like it. Listen, Vaughn, you get traded. You had such a great year. What's next for you next year? Is it going to be re-signing with the Rams? What, what are we looking to do? Re-signing with the Rams or what next year? What are we trying to do? We're going to hey, run it hey. back. Wow, that's a lot I of pressure already. Right? Back to hey, back. to play with AD, to play with Leonard Floyd, um, Jalen Ramsey. Man, whatever we can do to make it happen, man, well, I, I'm sure Les Snead and Tony and all the guys there figure some out, man. It ain't nothing like L.A. It does not slip in here, baby. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, Aaron, you're a three-time defensive player of the year. You are now a Super Bowl champ. How important is it for you, legacy-wise, to be mentioned as the greatest defensive player ever? Honestly, my, my focus ain't never that. I just I just play my game. Um, you know, I was blessed to have the opportunity to, you know, be able to play this sport um, and have a lot of success doing it. But, um, you know, I, my mindset is never that. It's just go out there, dominate, trying to just play the game I love. You know, and on, on the verge of working hard and, and doing that, great things happen. And, and, and I'm able to call myself a world champion. Um, that's always the ultimate goal. That's what you work for. That's what the all, all season that was motivating me and, and pushing me to do an extra rep with the, the experience this, man. And, um, it feels so good. But, Vaughn, what is it that separates him? What is it that separates him from other defensive? Man, it, it just does not turn off, man. His energy, um, his desire, his determination to be great. It's on the football field. It's doing walkthroughs. It's in the weight room. Um, when we talk in the locker room, flying on the plane before and after games, it's just contagious, man. He works so hard, man. You just want to lay your neck out on the line for the guy, man. And that's not that's me. That's everybody out there, man. It, it's just an honor and a privilege to be here with him, um, to experience it, to witness it, man. You know, I, I love this guy, man. Hey, hey, football heaven, man. It's dope, man. <laughs> AD, there were some reports earlier in this week that Sean McVay, if he wins the Super Bowl, he might walk away and go do something else. Then all of a sudden today, right when I just tell somebody that you're probably going to play 15 or 17 years because you're in such great shape and you, you make guys miss and nobody can ever get a glove on you, all of a sudden I look at my Twitter and Aaron Donald might retire after what? the season if he wins the Super Bowl. Sean McVay just shot it down, said he's coming back. What are you doing next season? Um, I'm just in the moment right now. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Um, you know, that's all you can do right now. Th you, this game was never, you know, promised what can happen. Um, I've been blessed and privileged to have the opportunity to play this game at a high level for eight years. Um, so I'm just going to live in the moment right now, enjoy this, like I said, with my family, with my teammates, man, and, um, you know, just, just have fun today. There was a quote from you recently about wanting to go play in the confetti with your family. There you go. You promised your daughter that you'd give her the opportunity to go do this if we win after we win the Super Bowl. Have you had a chance to go do it yet? Yeah, we 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 we're the plan. She just ran away and played in some confetti right now. So but we got to play in the confetti. She's playing in it right now. I don't know where she went, but well, she just what? she ran in it. Go go join her. I appreciate go join it. Her and go go do some snow angels in the confetti. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Aaron Donald and family. Von Miller, congratulations you on your second Super Bowl ring as well. Thanks Sarah for the time, Giggle. guys. Thank, Thank you. Guys. you.